today at HHC Diesel, we're putting our new nipple cup design to the test. We actually just got uh, patent pending status on this and we're ready to hit the market. Our design actually has a deflection groove machined in so that if your nipple cup seal ever does fail, it's not going to go down and attack the top injector seal like you would get on an OEM or an aftermarket nipple cup. Um, so ours will not cause a vehicle no start even uh, five years down the road if your nipple cup seal ever does fail uh, you're not going to end up stranded on the side of the road like you would be with an OEM nipple cup or an aftermarket nipple cup. Uh, we're pretty proud of our design and we're going to show you a demonstration here of how it works. So what we've got set up here is a uh, an oil reel off a of late model 6 liter diesel and a 10,000 psi hydraulic pump. We're actually powering it with uh, transmission fluid so you can see the nice red color and transmission fluid is actually uh, much less viscous so it should leak out a lot better. And we're going to go ahead and put in one of our nipple cups. We've got them all plugged up on the bottom so they can't leak out the top there. We've got one of ours, we've got an OEM, and we've got an aftermarket. And you should note that the aftermarket and the OEM are made of a soft steel and they wear very quickly. Um, and the aftermarket are actually a half a thousand smaller than OEM. And with all the wear that goes on in the oil rail and with the lock ring, a smaller nipple cup isn't exactly better. Ours is actually a half a thousand larger. So uh, we kind of fill up that gap of any wear that has taken place on your truck. So we're going to go ahead and uh, stick these in here. We've got uh, a nick in each one of these O-rings. We actually cut out a little groove. So we're trying to force them to leak. We got one in all three of these. are all brand new, high quality HHC diesel Viton O-rings. Okay, these are heavy duty, but they should still leak because we got them cut. Then we're going to go ahead and put a uh, top injector seal on each one. Um, we're thinking that the top injector seal will probably get blown off these two as long as we can get a good enough leak set up. But we're set up to get up to about 5,000 PSI here. So we're going to go ahead and put these in now. This one here. This is actually the, the same tool we've been using in all of our testing. Uh, we keep trying to break it, but we just haven't been able to. This is the tool that we put up to 500 foot-pounds of pressure, and it still won't break. Uh, no matter what we do, we can't break it, and we're just going to keep using it in all our tests until we can manage to break it. Of course, if you're uh, doing your own oil rail, you would want to torque these to 100 foot-pounds to make sure you get a nice, even torque. We're just doing this for testing purposes. So, HHC diesel, OEM, aftermarket. And we're getting quite a leak already. And uh, that one there is leaking the most. Let's see if we can actually build up some pressure though. Well, it looks like our plug in uh, the aftermarket one isn't holding.
Well, we'll reset our test and try again. We had to replace the aftermarket nipple cup with another dummy plug, so that's plugged off. We need to plug up another dummy plug for another test. Uh, but just for the purposes of this video, we had to go ahead and put a much larger nick in uh, the o-ring going to our nipple cup. Uh, basically, we couldn't get it to leak. Because we accounted for extra wear in there, and ours is a half a thousandth bigger, um, it's actually taking up the extra space. And even though uh, we had quite a big nick in there, we had to make it worse. So that's almost to the point that it's gonna break. So, if that doesn't leak, nothing will. Let's go ahead and put that back in. We're also going to hold it in an upside down position so you can actually see the oil following the body of the nipple cup. Can you hold it up a little bit? So you can see on the OEM one there, the oil's just seeping out of that one. Uh, and it's just following the body of the nipple cup down. Ours, uh, it's kind of hard to see in this test, but it's actually hitting that deflection ridge. So as you can see, the oil on the OEM one is just flowing not only out from the side, but straight down the nipple cup to the top injector seal. And that's why you get a no start and a, no fa and a failure because this 5,000 PSI oil is just traveling along the body of the nipple cup. Uh, same thing like aerodynamics, air follows uh, the path over the wing of an airplane. Fluid also follows uh, the path of the object it encounters. So it's just flowing down the body of the nipple cup to the top injector seal there and destroying it. And our... Go ahead and do it flat down again. Yeah. Night and day. So if you want the final step in bulletproofing your 6 liter diesel, uh, you got to go with our nipple cups. Um, price is right and it's going to be a one time fix. They're lifetime warranty, if they ever wear out or have any problems whatsoever, send it back and we'll replace them no questions asked. But we put a lot of research, a lot of R&D into this and we're proud of our product.